Why, hello, Internet! It's Frank from the Warrendale Blog, and today is Wednesday, June 29th, 2011. And today, I would like to talk about the cool Warrendale thing of the week. You know, sometimes I go out and find the cool Warrendale thing, but sometimes it finds me. And that's what happened yesterday while I was out uh, doing a little shooting. I stumbled across what has to be the coolest backyard I've ever seen anywhere. Um, it was some guy who, it was Big Ken, who lives on Warrendale on the uh, east of Southfield. And I was walking by his house, he said hi, I said hi, started talking, one thing led to another, he invited me into his backyard, told me I, it would be something I've never seen before, and he was not kidding. So, uh, without further ado, I give you Big Ken's Backyard. Uh, the cool Warrendale thing of the week. If you're out and about, bring them over one of these days. Right? Oh my god, I saw so well. Oh my god, pal, this is... Internet! Um, funny little thing as I'm walking down the street, I bump into Big Cal, and he just shows me his backyard. And this is quite possibly the coolest backyard I've seen in the longest time. We've got a, um... A bench made of the old uh, swim platform from a boat. A, uh, look at that. How many fish are in here? How many fish are in here? 90 fish. All in that little pond right there. Yeah, well, you know, that, that's kind of where fish should be. You could see, well, you could see a whole ship. They can stay deep during the day. Oh, yeah, I see a couple of them right there. I got a couple of big ones in the book there. And all my little tadpoles all just got their plate and feet and they're out jumping around now. So. This weekend I'm going to trim all my bushes back. I keep them real cool. You like the, the piece thing? I keep it so clear you can see the thumbnail in it usually, but it got out of hand. Oh my god, the peace sign! There's a peace sign in this backyard behind of a bush. I love this! There's no fence rail. And they used to be, the, the flagpole used to be an old fence railing from my... Uh, in the back alley. I took it off. I put it fixed. I put it in the sleeve. The, the pole turns so the uh -huh. flags don't wrap up. Oh, that's beautiful. Different. I love it. All these old, all the 4x4s four four here are all signposts. I got the deck from a friend of mine I built that 15 years ago in Trenton. He didn't want it no more, so I brought it back here and reused it. Oh my god, Cal, this is... Ten. Oh, sorry, ten. Ten, ten. No sorry. No problem. These are all... He could actually read the writing. These were all old sign panels. There were Henry Ford old sign panels. Uh-huh. Some of my extensions are made out of All my letters I've taken off the job. So. This is... This is phenomenal. Well, yeah, if you know anybody, wants to come by and take a look at it. It's unusual. You never, if you just walked by, you really would never know. This is you would never... This looks like just another house in, right. yeah, in Detroit, Detroit but, but this is... come back at the end of April, I mean, end of August, my son flew out. You only see that arbor. All my, you only see the fence. The fence disappears. It just turns into tropical... I got a lot of tropical plants that are just getting off the ground right now. And this is the crack corn, which is corn grown in a crack in the sidewalk or in the uh, driveway. Oh, my God. Ken, you're a genius. See my birdhouse up here? Ken Jan's Paradise Condo. And I put all my friends' names over all the bird holes. So all my friends... Oh, my birds God! Birds. That is amazing! But it's nothing. Just, I'll show you my pride and joy. What's your pride and joy? Some beer. I would love. Yes. This is the coolest sports bar in town, and nobody knows about it. A whole bunch of Super Bowl tickets to the back of the door. To Ken Sports Bar. This is so cool. That's uh. These are up to. We're in downtown. Super Bowl Forty. Oh yeah, that's that's the most important one of all. Right. Exactly. I just got from the very first plate on my very first vehicle, all the way up and around up to that one arrow. That's my last license plate. Look at the matchbook collection. These first 25 matchbooks right here are all the hotels in Las Vegas that have been torn down already. They're gone. Oh my God! I have some friends of mine in Vegas who would love this. My son lives there. He just I just took him to the airport today. He was home for two weeks. He was just oh, home. Yeah? yeah, just went home. Whereabouts in Vegas is he? Um, is up in the north. He's the Warren Hill Courier. Reyes around first. 1960. Back when it still existed. Right? Wow. 
Speed limit don't go faster than 25 miles per hour in the garage. No swimming. Uh, radiation and uh, division of gynecology. Yeah, there we go. This is an irreverent sense of humor. A couple of birds oh, and a lawyer. There's a lot of stuff. Actually, another classic. And then, <laughs> right below that. One of these bring your dad back. So your dad and your mom want their bar. And so, there you have it. Uh, Big Ken's Backyard. The cool Warrendale thing of the week uh, for this week. Uh, for those of you who would like to uh, arrange a personal tour of the uh, garden, if you've got my email address or you're my friend on Facebook, go ahead and uh, shoot me a note. Otherwise, just leave a message below in the comments, uh, and I will make the arrangements with Big Ken. In the meantime, thanks for checking in, and this has been your cool, war cool Warrendale thing of the week.